Hi everyone, I'm going to take you through a cool down with some stretching. So it is important to stretch after uh, your exercise to help increase circulation of your blood to your muscles to help you recover and reduce any muscle soreness. So we're going to start in our lower body and work our way up. So we're going to start in our calves, so the lower end of our leg here. We're going to step our right foot forward, left foot back, keeping both feet nice and flat on the floor. We're going to keep our back leg straight and we're going to bend our front leg. Now you should feel a stretch down the back of your back leg. If you can't quite feel the stretch, maybe take your feet further apart, but remember to keep them nice and flat on the floor. If you need to, you can hold on to something uh, to help keep you balanced. Or we'll hold this stretch for a little bit longer. All right, and changing over. So putting our left foot forward, right foot back, keeping our back leg nice and straight and bending our front leg. Again, we're feeling a stretch down the back of our back leg. Okay, holding this for a little bit longer, really feeling that stretch. All right, and bring your feet together. Now we're going to stand with our feet close together. We're going to take our right foot slightly forward. Then we're going to raise our toes, so our heels just on the floor. If you have a slight bend in your left leg, we're going to tilt forward at our hips and place both your hands on your right thigh and you should feel a stretch in your hamstring on the back of your thigh. If you can't feel a stretch, try and lean forward a little bit more, tilting at your hips. We'll hold this stretch for a little bit longer before we change sides. right and we'll change sides so feet back together left foot slightly forward raising your toes so your heels on the floor slight bend in your right leg tilting forward at your hips both hands on your left thigh feeling the stretch down the back of your thigh remember if you want to add a stretch just tilt forward a little bit further Righty and standing up. Now we're going to move to the front of our thighs and do a quadricep stretch. So you may need to hold on to a chair or something stable for this one or start on our right side. So I'm holding on to that chair, just flip your leg back. Now, if this is where you need to hold it, that's fine, just hold it like this. If you can, grab onto your foot or your ankle, or if you're wearing long trousers, the bottom of your trousers and try and keep your knees close together, not, not standing out like this, try and keep them close together and you should feel a stretch down the front of your bent leg. And remember to hold on to that chair to help you stay balanced. All right, and release. And now changing sides. Going to do the same with the left, so holding onto that chair, flicking our leg back, grabbing onto it um, in any way we can, or just leaving it there and keeping our knees close together. And we're feeling a stretch down the front of our thigh. All right, and release. And now we'll just do a wee side stretch. So we're going to put our right hand straight up in the air, left hand hanging to the side, and we're just going to bend to the right, feeling a stretch down the right side of our body. All 
right, and standing up, and the same to the other side, left hand straight up in the air, right hand just hanging down at the side and leaning to the right. Feeling that stretch down the left side of our body. And standing up. All right, we will do a shoulder stretch. So we're going to take our right arm, take it across our body. We're going to then bring our left arm and bring it underneath our arm, using that left arm to pull our right arm closer to our chest, feeling a stretch in our right shoulder. Trying to keep that right arm straight. Right and release, and we'll do the same on the other side. So left arm across our chest, right arm comes underneath it, pulling that left arm closer to our chest and feeling a stretch in our left shoulder. All right, and release. Right, we'll do a chest stretch so we can stand with our hands down at our side. Just take them slightly behind your back, pushing your chest forward, and you should feel a stretch across your chest. If you can, you can clasp your hands together at your back um, behind you. It's for an added stretch. If not, you can just hold your arms down like this. All right, and release. Uh, we will do an upper back stretch. So we're going to clasp our hands together, have them straight out in front of us. We're going to put our head down between our arms, and you're really going to try to stretch those arms out as far as you can, feeling standing up nice and straight and feeling a stretch across your upper back. All right, and release, and we will do a tricep stretch, starting with our right arm. So right arm up in the air. We're going to take it down so our hand is touching the top of our back, and then we're going to take our left hand, place it on our right elbow, and just gently push it just to get an added stretch down our tricep here. Right and release, and we'll do the same on the other side. So, left arm up in the air, taking our hand down to touch the upper back, taking our right hand on our left elbow, just gently pushing it down just for an added stretch at the back of our arm. All right and release and we'll just do some deep breaths in and out so a nice deep breath in and out deep breath in and out deep breath in and out and last one nice deep breath in and out there you go that is your cool down and stretches done